G'day everyone, how are you going? Uh, my name's Ian and I want to especially welcome our families and our kids uh, who are watching in this morning. Uh, now things have been a little bit different in the last week uh, and when things are a little bit different sometimes we can feel as though we're a little bit out of control. And it can make us feel a little bit weird and sometimes we can worry because usually we're in control of a lot of things. In fact, I feel as though I have a lot of control in my life. Let me show you how I think I've got control in my life. See, when I drive into my driveway, even if it's raining outside, no need to worry because I'm in control. I have my garage control. All I need to do is press the button, bang, I can go into my garage, I'm fine, the door goes up, dry, safe and sound because I have control. That's my garage control. And then as soon as I get inside, I walk in and no matter what the temperature, I don't need to worry because I'm in control. I've got my air conditioning control. I just grab it out and with the touch of a button, I've got the temperature that I want to be able to feel comfortable because I've got control and I've got my air conditioning control. When I sit down, if I want some fun, I don't need to worry because I'm in control. All I have to do is pick up my game controller and away I go, controlling cars, helicopters, or whatever it is that I want to control, easy and fun because I've got control. And then, even after that, if I want something different, all I've got to do is grab the TV control. And I can watch anything by just pressing a button, I can change the channel, I can turn the volume up, the volume down, I can press stop, pause, record, play, whatever I want, because I have control. But I realised this week when I was watching TV, that even though I thought I had control, I didn't actually have control. And that kind of started to worry me a little bit. I saw lots of people getting sick and I wanted to, to get my control out and press stop to all the sickness. But I didn't have control. And then, and then I wanted to turn people's temperatures that they were getting, I wanted to turn them down and I got my air conditioning control on and I, I couldn't change their temperatures, I couldn't do that. You see, none of these controls that I had would actually be able to help me. I learned that I didn't have control. But then I remembered the one person who really has control of absolutely everything. Now, he didn't need a remote control to be able to do anything. No, he just spoke and things stopped. He healed people with a touch or just by speaking. You see, Jesus showed us over and over that he is in control of absolutely everything. He made everything, he knows all things, and he loves everyone. You see, he showed that he was in control of absolutely everything by dying for us and rising again, coming back to life again. Now, there's a verse in Revelation, uh, in chapter 1, verse 17, where Jesus says, don't be afraid. Now, why should we not be afraid? Well, Jesus says, I am the first and the last, the living one. I died but now I am alive forevermore. You see, boys and girls, mums and dads, Jesus is in control, and therefore we don't need to be afraid. When things are great and when things are really tough, we don't need to worry, because Jesus loves us, and he loves us so much that he died for us and came back to life again, to give us forgiveness and life forevermore with him. And because Jesus is in control, well, a great thing to be able to do is pray to him. And we know that he hears us and he cares for us. And so we can trust him. And so because Jesus is in control, I'm going to pray to him now. Maybe you can bow your head at home and pray along with me too. Dear God, thank you so much that you are in control of absolutely everything. Thank you that Jesus died for us and rose again. And thank you that if we trust in him, we don't need to worry. When things are tough, like now, we ask that you would help us pray to you and trust that you're in control and care for us greatly. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.